Well, I want to introduce you to my AI. Well, my not so AI. These are supposed components you can purchase along with your ship. Quite expensive. But the reason I say not so AI is because, uh, well, there's a little more to them. You see, AI stands for artificial intelligence. These seem pretty genuine sentient to me. Well, here. I'll let you judge for yourself. Today I've completed all tasks I've had on my schedule somewhat early. So what to do? I've explored Microtech, the forest areas of Hurston. Nothing on Levski to pick up this week. Grimhex, well, nothing. Hmm, here's something I've been meaning to look into. Crewman Midnight. Yes, Commander. Where exactly have you been? I travel distances your mind will never perceive. Depths of space and time unfathomable to you. I want to know what you've seen. I've seen the future. It changes rapidly in an instant from one moment to the other. There are countless futures spawning infinitely. I do hope that answers your question. Show me. He hesitated a moment. Crewman Midnight? I'm here. He responded. Show me. All of a sudden, my ship lurched. <laughs> Inertia. Midnight said, breathe, man. Uh, I am. <clears throat> the ship slid out of, I guess, some kind of quantum drive. The ship turned. Whoa. What crewman Midnight explained ahead of me was that I am looking at the distant future. Roughly four billion years ahead, not to be too exact. And that I'm looking at tens of millions of years each second. Each second? <laughs> no, no way. He says what I'm looking at is that the Andromeda galaxy and our own Milky Way galaxy will collide and merge and that the mutual gravitational attraction between the stars, planets, and other matter that make up the galaxies will produce one single larger galaxy. He also mentioned, it is unlikely that any stars in the galaxies will actually collide themselves, really. Although some stars will actually be ejected from this merger. So I asked him, will this happen to ours? He said, that is to be classified. <laughs> he doesn't tell me much. Crewman Eden. Awaiting orders. What is a galaxy? Galaxy, a large grouping of stars. Galaxies are found in a variety of sizes and shapes. Our own Milky Way galaxy is spiral in shape and contains several billion stars. Some galaxies are so distant that their light takes millions of years to reach the Earth. A galaxy can also be described as a massive, gravitationally bound system consisting of stars and stellar remnants, an interstellar medium of gas and dust, also dark matter. Thank you. My pleasure. Anyway, he said, sit back in your seat, we're off again. <laughs> He said, now, what I'm looking at is that this star is orbiting a black hole, which is 10 times as massive as the star, that thing orbiting it, and that the star has a very eccentric orbit, 
it takes it within the black hole's Roche limit which means the closest distance from a powerful gravitational object that an orbital body can approach without being pulled apart. At this point, the tidal forces on the star become so strong enough to rip it apart. He also mentions that some of the material will just orbit the black hole, while most of it is just scattered out amongst the universe. He also mentions the size of this entire event that this entire occurrence can happen within the orbit of Mercury around the sun, the original system of our civilization, the soul system in which the planet Earth resides. Crew in Eden. Awaiting orders. What is a black hole? A black hole is a region of space-time from which gravity prevents anything, including light, from escaping. The theory of general relativity predicts that the sufficiently compact mass will deform space-time to form a black hole. The boundary of the region from which no escape is possible is called the event horizon. Then he told me, hang on to your seat. I think someone's in need of your services back home. Okay, <laughs> I, think I, could, I think I can only take that so much. Then he said, no worries, you're home. Home? Back in your time and your space, he said. I'll be talking to you again. I'll show you more. I said, okay, I'm willing to learn. Another time, another place, he said. So we'll all meet again to learn more that nobody else has.